All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. And um, I'm here just for a second to speak to us briefly here just for a moment about um, the concerns that I have going on here in the world today, especially as we see everything change. You know, I I um, just received a communique. You remember the Kim Kim Davis, the, uh, the uh, lady uh, up in Kentucky that refused to issue marriage license to sodomites? I mean, um, uh, lesbian and gay couples, homosexual couples. Well, anyway, um, I believe it's the USA Today. Uh, I'm going to find an article and link and hopefully include it down below. Um, they have actually now. And I want before I make this statement right here. I want you to try to understand and comprehend something. The system of this world. While we all know that we have allegedly quote unquote so-called freedom of religion. Do not let the news media or our court system um, go and do a discovery process finding out what you believe. Because as soon as they find out that you are like this Kim Davis, she is uh, apparently an apostolic Pentecostal. And you know the first thing that they're doing is there a, the, the headline reads, why does she have long hair? And then you go and read the rest of the scope of the article it has to do with wearing dresses. Um, and then, of course, they go off and start talking about the history of, at least they think they understand the history of apostolic Pentecostals, which they really truly don't. And, and of course, what they're doing is they're making an attack on her personal, private, religious preference. And because her personal, private, religious preference does not walk in step, neither is it in time with society nor the government of this world. Uh, what they're doing with all the agnostics and atheists and, of course, any of you people who claim to be in the faith uh, of different religious backgrounds, what they're doing is they're trying to build a public case against her. They're trying to garner cover public favor um, based upon her religious beliefs. And what they're doing is they're attacking the faith. Because whether people understand it and like it or not, um, she names the name of Christ. And, um, and she's apparently, if she is apostolic Pentecostal, not living in a, a life of sin. Um, and of course, you know, the world, they can't stand this because the first thing they'll go is who are you to judge anybody? First of all, number one, uh, Pastor Dow, I don't judge anybody. I know that you people hear me all the time making these videos and talking a lot, and you assume that I judge people. But I really, truly don't judge anybody. You know why I don't judge anybody? Because I know better than to judge anybody. Because with the same measure that you judge, it will be meet back to you again. Does that mean we do not judge? No, no. What I do judge is actions. You see, there's a difference between judging people and judging actions. I mean, after all, Christ, when he came, he said, I didn't come to judge any man. There's one, the father, which is in heaven, there's committed judgment. You take this account about the woman caught in the act of adultery. All right. First thing these people were doing was trying to judge her and all of them are in sin and living in sin themselves. Now, mind you, we live in a generation that's very prideful and very arrogant. Uh, they set themselves up as your judges um, while they are not even going to allow you to peer into their life uh, for you to make a judgment on them whatsoever at all, but they do champion themselves as your judges. And I brought all this up and I'm, I'm tying all this together to show you how that the, the media, the mainstream news media, along with the government is trying to get you all to come out in judgment with your opinions against this woman who chooses to live a quiet and separated life. That's what's really truly going on. And it's just a sad, sad situation. It's a sad thing because um, they're hoping to sway public opinion. And the whole idea is to make every single one of us who believe in one God, they want to make all of us psychopaths, sociopaths, or something is wrong with us because we choose to believe the Bible over secular humanism or over feminism, which has definitely become the religions of the United States of America. And that's what this is all about. And this, so now 
her freedom of religion is under assault by the mainstream news media simply because she has chosen to stand on her conviction. I tell you. So, again, I, I, you know, while, while I'm here, I might as well make that point again. I don't judge people. I judge actions. Judgment had been committed to me. Um, when I preach and teach the word, people get vehemently upset. They do. And they get, I mean, some people get passionately upset to the point that they would love to do me physical bodily harm and death is not even good enough in their eyes because of the righteous word that I'm preaching but the truth is it's not me that you're judging it's the word the one who gave us the word it is him that you're judging all I'm doing is delivering the message the same way that the mailman would deliver you the mail that's all I'm doing and when I do that and I stand on that righteous judgment and that righteous law, and I try to live it, it automatically condemns those who sit in darkness. And then the first thing that people want to do, rather than submitting to the righteous judgment of his word, see, this is the problem right here, because man think that since you're telling the truth, that they think they're going to lose a part of them um, if they obey what you said when you're stating the word. And they're not going to acquiesce or submit any way, shape, fashion, or form um, to anyone that is standing for the truth. That's the problem we're having today. So what they're trying to do is demonize the apostolic Pentecostal faith uh, because they do outline some points, meaning they believe in holiness, sanctification, and outward show of it, um, speaking in tongues and casting out devils and deliverance and, and salvation, uh, all of which the world don't. So you be careful, very careful, if you can, with the way that these double fork turn tongue serpents Love to the way they will love to persuade and sway your mind away from the real issue. The real issue is, is that um, this woman was unlawfully detained um, because the Supreme Court doesn't make law. We have lawmakers. Um, and because they gave an opinion about the law, um, I mean, again, I need for somebody to educate me uh, concerning this law because it's, it's so schizophrenic, you don't ever know what to believe nowadays, you know. Uh, that's the reason why I just choose to stick with the Bible. But uh, here we go again. Here we go again. Um, and of course, now they're saying she better not permit nobody from issuing marriage license. Now, again, now you have to ask yourself a question. Whomsoever you yield your members, servants to obey, that's whose servant you are. Are you going to submit, after all the videos that I put out warning you about getting a secular marriage license from the government and state and telling you what's going to happen? You see, the homosexuals, they're not worrying about the secular gay marriage life. They're looking for what they call uh, acceptance and dignity from the world. I don't give a damn about the world, what they think or say. Um, and, and I found myself to be on good footing with that, too. And you should do the same thing. Uh, and you'll find a whole lot more peace when you stop caring about what other people who don't even have a, a quarter of righteousness that you're living, if you're living righteous, and let their opinions and what they say and their finger pointing have any weight or any bearing on you at all. You'll be a fool to let the words of natural man uh, do anything when these people ain't living one iota of the Bible at all. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's amazing what we're seeing in the hour that we're living in. It's amazing um, that the judgments that people are making. Um, and and I, I'm, because we're all going to live to see where it goes. Um, but I, there's no way that you should let uh, these people... Uh, the laws of this land um, ever change your conviction, if it is a conviction. So one thing we did find out is that when people are really, truly convicted about something, they ain't going to be moved, not at all. And so now you got the government, and, and mind you, they, they're, they're posturing themselves, and, 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 and I want to give some wisdom to everybody out there. The government is not going to submit to no laws uh, of this land. The laws are not for the government officials, and it's not for... Um, the lawmakers, they're for us, the people, the small people and the peasants. And there's also a headline on USA Today uh, where cops are now fearing protest against police. Woo! It's all coming to a head, isn't it? It's all coming to a head. But don't you let anyone, especially in this world, especially when this world is so full of ignorant people who have no conviction whatsoever at all, don't ever let the weight of their words and their judgment have any type of impact on you if you choose to believe the Bible. Um, 
We just we're, we're now seeing Satan make his last move. That's what we're doing. And all the people that are submitted to his will, they're conforming. And what you're doing is watching these devils who used to hide up under the cloaks coming out and letting you clearly know who they are. And uh, they're, they're after anybody that names the name of Christ. Bottom line, they're after anybody that names the name of Christ. Um, so uh, I, I, I'm glad she stood on a conviction. You should be because they're coming after all of us. And the sad part about it is they have got this world so twist, warped, distorted, and, and, and bent that they don't have to worry about coming after us. All they got to do is say one or two words, throw a few accusations, um, go back and remind people of your past sins, even though you are wicked yourself. <laughs> and then they'll rise up public opinion and they're hoping that in this public opinion that you will cower down, cowtail, and take off and run. And let me tell you something. Let not your sins weigh you down. And that is the truth. And that's the truth straight straightway.